All right, thanks, guys. Happy Friday afternoon. Just wrapping up this early Cubs game and looking forward to tonight's MLB action on a Friday night. But we do have some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's MLB action. So let's go ahead and get into it, beginning with Reds-Cubs, 220 Chicago. The Cubs are $1.90, no total posted as of yet. Normally that number goes off at about 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time of game day. Pretty typical of games at Wrigley. We got Castillo for Cincinnati, Quintana for Chicago. The Cubs are 6.45 when favored. Since he's won just 23 of 58 as the road underdog, Castillo starts did go 16 and 9 to the over. Keep that in mind once the total gets posted. All said and done, though, not a great price point, but don't want to lay the run and a half. Give me the Cubs, minus 190. Getting the job done for some pricey money line cash. And welcome to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's MLB action. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 73% for my last 29 daily best plays, you're costing yourself profitable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Packages begin at just $1.99 a month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser and just quickly check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take you a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you're a current patron of mine and you're watching this program right now, I just can't thank you enough. You make it all worth it. I also want to give a big shout out to my headline sponsor for today's program. That's Jimmy and the boys at GhostPicksATS.com. And if you like making money on sports, there's no reason why you shouldn't check out one or more of their very affordable money-making packages. That's Jimmy and the boys at GhostPicksATS.com. GhostPicksATS.com. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at our Saturday slate of baseball games and personal leans. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Rangers, Giants, 405 San Francisco. The Giants are $1.45. Total was 8.5 down to 8 flat. Money's on the Rangers and the under right now. 20 cent fade of the Giants at home. Perez is for Texas. Suarez for San Francisco. The Giants are 21 and 15 when favored at AT&T Park. Texas won just 3 of 12 when Martin Perez made the start. Coincidentally, only 3 out of 12 Perez starts stayed under the total. Give me the Giants outright in the over 8 runs. Next game, Nationals-Mets, 4.05 New York. The Nats are $1.15. Total was 8 down to 7.5. Money's on New York in the under right now. Nickel fade of Washington already in the early going here. Roarks for the Nationals, Wheelers for the Mets. But despite taking money, the New York Mets have won just 9 of 32 at the current money line price. Washington's been pretty good on the road, 21 and 15 as the official road favorite. We're also looking at 7 and 5 to the over in these teams' 12 head to head matchups. Give me the Nationals outright in the over, 7.5. Next game, Phillies, Blue Jays, 407 Toronto. The Phillies are a buck and a quarter. Totals nine. Money's on the Phillies. Nickel move toward Philadelphia in the early betting. Pavetta's for the Phillies. Sanchez for the Jays. Toronto's won just eight of 30 as the home underdog. Philadelphia's gone 27 and 17, taking on sub 500 teams. Sanchez starts, did go nine and six to the under. Give me those fighting Phillies minus a buck and a quarter and the under nine runs. Next game, Red Sox Rays 6-10 Tampa Bay. No lines posted for this game currently. Lines should be released by 11.30 a.m. Saturday morning, Eastern Standard Time. Next game, White Sox Tigers 6-10 Detroit. The Tigers are $1.20. Total was 9.5 down to 9 flat. Money's on the White Sox in the under right now. Nickel fade of Detroit already. Giolito takes the bump for Chicago. Carpenter slated for the Tigers. But despite the public fade of Detroit, they've been dominant against Chicago, winning 10 of 13 outright versus the Sox. Chicago's just 371 in their games away from home. We got 9 and 5 to the over when these teams face each other, depending on where you're shopping at. Give me the Tigers, minus 120 in the over. Nine runs. Next game, Yankees Orioles, 705 Baltimore, second of a doubleheader, 105 first pitch in the first of two. As far as both games go, however, no lines posted as of yet for those matchups. Once again, we should see some numbers for these contests posted by 11:30 a.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. Next game, Athletics Twins, 7-10 Minnesota. The A's are $1.45. Total was 9.5, up to 10 flat. Fires for the A's. Gonsalves for the Twins. Oakland's gone 14-6 at the current market price. They're also 3-0 in their trio of games where Mike Fires made the start. Oakland's just 34% to the over, taking on teams giving up more than four runs per contest. Give me the Oakland Athletics minus the $1.45 and the under 10 runs. Next game, Braves-Marlins, 7-10 Miami. The Braves are $1.65 on the road. Totals eight. Public's on the Braves and the over right now. 10-cent move in favor of Atlanta already. We got Anibal Sanchez for Atlanta. Wei-Yin Chen for Miami. Now, Miami's been getting smoked by the Braves this year, just 3-13 and taking on Atlanta. Miami's also struggled against winning ball clubs, winning just 19 of 58 versus teams over 500. Sanchez starts did go 11-6 and the under this season. Give me the Braves minus $1.65 in the under. Eight flat. Next game, Pirates, Brewers, 7-10 Milwaukee. The Brewers are $1.30. Total was 8.5 down to 8 flat. Public betters are on the Brewers and the under right now. Nickel move toward Milwaukee. Tyons for the Pirates. Chassines for the Brewers. Milwaukee's 19-8 when Julius Chassin makes the start. Pittsburgh's won just 21-47 of 47 as the official road underdog. The Pirates scored just seven runs in their last seven contests, average, uh, averaging just a run per game in that span. Give me the Brewers outright and the under. Eight runs. Next game, Indians-Royals, 7-14 Kansas City. The Indians are the massive $3 favorites. Total was 8.5 down to 8 flat. Public's actually on the Royals and the under right now. 15-cent fade of the Indians in the early betting. We got Kluber for Cleveland, Phil Meyer for KC. Kansas City's lost 6 of 7 when Heath Fillmeyer made the start. Cleveland's winning an incredible 86% of their ball games at the current price point. Kluber starts went 18 and 8 to the over. Give me the Indians run line in the over. 8 runs. Next game, Cardinals Rockies 8-10 Colorado. The Rockies are $1.40, totals 11. Handles shaded toward the Rockies right now, 10 cent move toward Colorado. We got Gant for St. Louis, Herman Marcus for Colorado. The Rockies are 33 and 16, taking on winning ball clubs. The Reds hot, uh, the Red Hot Cardinals actually won just four of 12 when Gant throws the first pitch. Marcus starts went 15 and 10 to the under. Give me the Rockies outright and the under 11 runs. Next game, Mariners Diamondbacks 8-10 first pitch in the desert. No lines posted as of yet for this one. No lines, no leans. That said, though, this should be a fairly good series as both teams are proving to be playoff contenders. Next game, Astros-Angels. That's 9-07 Los Angeles. The Astros are $1.75. Totals 8. Money's on the Astros right now. 10 cent move toward Houston in the early going here. Verlanders for the Astros. Berea's for the Angels. Los Angeles is just 14% at the current market price. Houston's 39 and 15 when favored away from home. Seven out of nine head-to-head matchups between these squads fell under the total. Give me Verlander getting the W. That's a pricey Verlander play exclusively in the under. Eight runs. Next and final game for the show, it is going to be Padres Dodgers 9-10 Los Angeles. The Dodgers are the absurd $4 favorites. Total was 7.5 down to 7 flat. Money's on the Dodgers and the under right now. Dodgers still taking money despite the terrible price point. We got Kennedy for San Diego. Kershaw for Los Angeles. I mean, I got to be a sucker in this spot here. LA's won just 9 of 19 when Kershaw starts. They're also just 484 as the home favorite. You're getting basically 3.5 to 1 on your money with the Padres who have taken four games from the Dodgers this season. LA's also 11-3 to the over in Dodger Stadium at the current total. What the hell? Give me the Padres catching massive plus money in the over. Seven runs in this one. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just have to remind you to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash Page. With a documented win percentage of 73% for my last 29, you're costing yourself profitable information each and every day you're not subscribed. 
packages begin at just $1.99 a month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser and just quickly check me out at patreon.com slash rock page. It'll only take you a few seconds. The link is in the description section below. And if you're a current patron of mine and you're watching this program right now, I just can't thank you enough. You make it all worth it. I also want to remind you to check out my headline sponsor for today's program. That's Jimmy and the boys at ghostpicksats.com. Jimmy and his team of young, hungry, expert consultants at Ghost Picks are the most passionate in the business. And if you thought I was good at handicapping games, these guys are amongst the best in the industry. And as always, thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash brockpage.